Right, we've got a lot of work to do here still. So <laughs> if we start shoveling now, okay. we'll be ready by March 2019 with a purpose-built, fantastic children's hospice here in Norfolk. So let's get going, folks. Feet in and up. <laughs> It's an exciting day for each, but more important, I think it's an exciting day for children and families in Norfolk. Three years ago, almost to the day, we launched the appeal to raise £10 million to provide a new purpose-built children's hospice uh, here in Framlingham. And we are 70% of the way there. We've got £7 million already, which has given us the confidence to proceed now to actually start building. So over the, the next 18 months, we'll be building this at the same time as we're hoping to raise the remaining £3 million. I visited some 10 sites in, uh, around Norfolk, potential sites, to see whether we could find a site which was in the country, but also part of the real world. And, and this site, as you look out behind me to the countryside there, but behind us is a, is a village, uh, a thriving village, and we wanted to get that, that mixture. So that took a long time. Then we had to acquire the land, then planning permission, and then of course, the minor matter of raising sufficient money to enable us to have the confidence to, to go ahead. Um, so it's taken years. This building now will take 70 weeks to complete. And in March 2019, on this site, we should have one of the finest purpose-built hospices in the country. The support we've had so far has been absolutely fabulous. Uh, but now we've got a, a, a new impetus to the appeal because we've been saying to people, look, here's a field and here's a drawing of what we think it'll look like. Now people can come along, they can see the diggers, they will see the brickwork going off, etc. They'll see, like a phoenix, this wonderful building. But of course it's not just the building, it's what we will be able to provide within the building, the care and support that we'll be able to give to our children and families in Norfolk. The Care Quality Commission said that we gave outstanding service from Quidnam, but that was outstanding in spite of the building rather than uh, as a result of the building. What this building will give us is more room, It'll give us more uh, facilities for family members. It'll give us a hydrotherapy pool, which we haven't got at all uh, in uh, Quidnam. It will give us the opportunity to use this as a hub to provide more support for siblings and for bereaved parents, etc., which at the moment uh, we have to sort of hire halls here and there to do. This will be a real, as well as being a, a hospice where children will come, it will be a hub for all the services that we provide in the community and throughout Norfolk, whether it be in Thetford in the south or Cromer in the north or out to the North Sea or up to Kings Lynn.